Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you gorgeous people have tuned in to watch this. This is Warren, Lighty Collects, coming back with another video. And as the title says, this is going to be looking at some banknotes. Um, I've been sorting through a lot this morning, so I thought, you know, why not do a little sort of series where I feature banknotes from certain countries so that's what we're going to do today uh, the notes come in no particular order um, they're just obviously all from the same country and what better way to start off with than our country and this is possibly one of my favourite notes um, that I have and you can see it is the Bank of England uh, one pound note let's just see me right in promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of one pounds it's absolutely stunning this one is so really yeah, I say it is possibly one of my favourite bank notes of all time um, and that was the chief, chief cashier, I think it's Pe Pepe Rat, um, something along those lines. I'm sure somebody will correct me on that. So there we go, let's just zoom you out on that. So that is absolutely beautiful note. Um, I'm just going to try... I wanted to grab something. One second, let me just pause you for a minute. There we go, that's a bit better. Uh, I just wanted to pause it so I could stick in a ruler um, and you would get an idea of the size of the note. Um, it is rather a large one. As you can just see there, quite a large bank note. Uh, but for me, yeah, it's possibly one of my favourite uh, banknotes in my collection. So moving on. I say these aren't in any particular order. And next up is a 10 shilling note. Obviously quite an old one. So again, just to give you an idea of the actual size of it next up is the old one pound notes um, there were a couple of these in uh, different sizes let me just see that one um, the next one actually we have a much better conditioned one here. Let's just have a look at that one instead. That's almost a mint condition, I would suggest. So, yeah, there we go. That's quite a large one for a, a one pound note. I don't, I say we've done these a few times. This is the pound note that I am more familiar with, and you'll see that it's quite a bit smaller than the previous one. Um, if I was to put the previous one to the end, you'll see it's a bit taller and quite a bit longer. So, this is the one that I am more familiar with. But yeah, a really nice note all the same. <laughs> now these bring some memories back. And these are just, they, they make me laugh. Because um, these are absolutely massive compared to the notes that we get today. I should have actually got some notes out from the bank today. Um, and we could have done a comparison. Um, but this is obviously... Um, the five pound, <coughs> five pound note. I nearly said coin there. Uh, I love this 
image in the center of the chariots really really nice um, let's have a look at the reverse side of this and it is, features the Duke of Wellington and obviously uh, in battle there and again just showing you the size of it so again really quite a, a large one not in fantastic condition I will admit um, but it's a it's a lovely note all the same and moving on obviously the next one up these are huge compared to today now the size of that a 10 pound note absolutely massive <laughs> but yeah it's really I do like my notes I must admit um, and obviously you know over the years they've changed quite quite dramatically for a number of reasons you know um, we've changed from uh, the paper to the polymer now um, security on them is so so much better now than it used to be and obviously this one is featuring Florence Nightingale um, but again an absolutely beautiful note um, so these do still appear up on um, eBay quite often quite a regular thing um, I do love this as well how about that a big old fashioned 20 pound note um, I don't think I was fortunate enough to have any of these <laughs> um, and obviously you can see on this side featuring William Shakespeare leaning up against a um, I imagine it's a statue of some description um, and depicting, and let's see if I can see me in on there. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. You've got Juliet up at the window. And Romeo, Romeo underneath trying to serenade her. Now let's just flip this one over. And very similar to all the others um, the knight on the horse I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of £20 for the government and comp of the Bank of England and then obviously as they all are signed by the chief cashier underneath um, I haven't managed to get my hands on a £50 one yet. Um, they tend to go for a reasonable f f sum of money. Um, but I do want to get my hands on a 50 The idea is that I can then... It will be almost the full collection of um, denomination. And the idea being that I want to then put them into a frame... Um, and it's something that you can showcase, you know, on a on a wall. Um, but yeah, it's so it's the fifty pound that I still need to collect. Um, but I say it's it's obviously it's. I was going to say it's not cheap, but obviously it's not. It's a fifty pound note. Um, but yeah, so that's the one that I keep my eyes out for the most now. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching those. Uh, and I say it's a series that I've been meaning to do for some time. Um, and for one reason or another, I just never get round to it. Um, but I was sorting some notes out this morning, trying to put them all into some sort of an order. Um, so I thought, you know, now I've got them into sort of country order would be a good time to do a feature like this so um, I hope you liked it I know it's not your coins um, please do let me know what you think which one of those are your, your favourite notes and are there any of them that you remember 
um, do you have any of them and just let us know down below in the comments please do hit the thumbs up it really helps with the YouTube algorithms and everything else if you're not already please do hit the big red subscribe button and hopefully there might be another video out this week uh, if not I will see you lovely people on Saturday morning with lose coins for a tat or treasure two hours of fun and laughter um, looking at UK coins and having some fun so until then love and respect you all keep yourself safe and bye for now